awesome. And uh, a little bit of stuff that's been uh, going on in the past couple weeks, uh, my nerd wise, I'm a big Podcast Beyond fan, and they had their episode 350. Beyond, like, uh, yeah. Beyond. <laughs> We've already uh, listened to it and everything. It's already it's already been out, but it was it was a good one. It was it was fun. I, I really dig the hell out of those guys. They're that inspiration. It's pretty cool. Can't wait till I get my game over Greggy poster to put on the background because people constantly are like you need to decorate your walls. I'm like, I yeah, will. We had decorations as soon as it gets point. here, but it's coming from Australia. Is, is that what no, we're gonna shoe it? Yeah, <laughs> we're well, rocking the shoe today. What's funny is I was going through like uh, I've, we I've had that for a while. I've seen it for yeah. quite a while. Like, you can see like episode one. Yeah, well, it wasn't like I think it was like episode five or six. No, it was, it was like somewhere. almost. Yeah, but. <laughs> I've had that for a while, yeah. and it wasn't but like uh, three weeks ago that I saw on uh, Greg Miller took a picture of his like all of his pictures on like I guess on a little dresser <laughs> wow, okay. on the way to his uh, on the way outside I guess I, I don't know exactly where it was but there was a whole bunch of framed pictures and right in the middle of it was shoe and it was that picture. <laughs> I was nice. like, yes, <laughs> give that shoe love. Which, uh, speaking of uh, Shu, he's actually been uh, interacting with some of us uh, streamers and stuff. He's, uh, I've, I've actually had a couple interactions with him on Twitter. And uh, whenever people were getting banned for stupidness, uh, like uh, the Q Report and Danny Danger and them, they've actually gotten like what actual responses. What they get banned for? Do they ever figure it out? I don't know. It, apparently, you can't like do a lot of things on Ustream. <laughs> like, oh, you mean half the shit that we do? Yeah. And like, don't, don't get banned for? I, I, don't, I don't think they're supposed to swear. I don't think... Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? You're not supposed to fucking swear. <sighs> and then I... What was it? I, you can't put, like, personal info up there. So, like, putting all your, like, websites and names and stuff like we did and the Q Report did and stuff like Is that. Is that why we don't have those up anymore? Uh, really, I stopped doing it because I was lazy. So it oh, okay. Kinda, <laughs> it just kind of fell into that, which is cool. Okay. And, just uh, work. Yeah, it just so happened to be that way. But uh, I don't know if you're supposed to be able to reference the fact that you're drinking alcohol. I don't know if you're supposed to be, like, I don't think you can have, like, actual products. Like, even though it's in reverse, I don't think it should matter if it's in reverse. Like, what the hell? But anyways, like, cigarettes pointing at them like that. Like, it's perfectly <laughs> showing Marvel, but eh. <laughs> Me. It's not like we're endorsed. Situate that a little bit. It's not like we're endorsed by anybody. I don't, I don't get it really. I mean, I've tried to read the terms of service, but you know, you got to be like a freaking lawyer to do all that. So I don't even bother. Yeah. I'll wait until I get banned. And be like, sorry. <laughs> you just make a new name. <laughs> yeah. Either that, or just be like, hey, sorry, I didn't know. Now I know. Well, they say after you get banned the first time, you're only banned for 24 hours. Yeah. And you can get back on on your same name, but after the second time of getting banned, you're permanently banned until you make a new name. Which takes a whole five minutes. So, I mean, it's easy as that. That's true. And I've thought about trying to see how exactly to do it on Twitch. Because I know there's quite a few podcasts that I listen to that they stream theirs live over Twitch. Not like the Level Up show does. Like, they do theirs through Playroom. It's usually just like a blank screen or like they have like a graphic up and then you can just hear the voices. So it's not like a video podcast. But mm -hmm. it is their podcast. I was like, if you can do that and there's no problem with it, then why are they having such a problem with people doing that? Like, And they, they say there's podcasts on their uh, website. Like, if you go up there, it's like, watch streams, stream your games, the best podcasts are on here. And you're like, whoa, how, how do you get your podcast on Twitch? Like, how do you be able to do your podcast live on Twitch? So I'm, I need to look into that more. So who specifically does it Like that you know of? Uh, Sanctuary RPG, one of the people I follow on... Uh, Twitter. They so why don't you message them there. and find out? I guess I could. We both follow each other yeah. on Twitter, so. <laughs> Just be like, hey. Thanks, Misty. <laughs> how do I do what you're doing? Uh, Hello, fancy. No, unfortunately. I wish. Me too. Should French like, fry, French in, toast, French next kiss. Next episode. Got it. Should have someone that. No, I mean, we will have someone who's that. Are they going to be on? I don't know if they're going to do anything. I haven't even asked them, but. Uh, if anything, I'll just give them microphones. If they don't want to be on camera or anything, they can just sit on the couch and still talk. Yeah. Awesome. That would be, matter. That'd be awesome. But she totally knows French. Yeah. yeah fluent. Yuppie she used yuppie. to teach me. I tried to get her to do that for a long time, just like walk around the house and stick sticky notes on I things. I did that with Spanish. What, like the French word is. I, re I need to do it again. But instead, all I learned was the bad words. and. Well, of course. That's the first word you learn. Yeah. 
Dude. Sean used him a lot. <laughs> so. My son, my oldest son, his very first word, swear to you, was shit. <laughs> Thanks to my friend Ashley. She literally God. sat there in his face, not in his face face, but like she was saying shit and he literally turns around and was like shit. And you're like, <laughs> no, your first word is mama, dada, baba, yeah, something, not shit. Just like you, you know, you screwed up a little bit whenever their first word. No, no, I, I, I give you that. I screwed up by having her as a stupid ass bitch ass piece of shit friend. <laughs> we haven't seen each other in over six years. <laughs> I'm okay with good. this. Well, speaking of Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. How about them bears? Go for it. Uh, but uh, Twitch actually talked about recently looking into uh, doing streaming services for the 3DS and the Vita, like being able to stream your games on the 3DS and Vita, which is something I've wanted to do for a long time for the Vita because there's a lot of awesome. I play a lot of games on my Vita, and I could just so easily stream the hell out of those every time I play. But there's no app in the Vita to do that, and there's no... Uh, video output so that I can use my capture card either. The only option is to send it somewhere overseas and they like pull it apart and do some stuff to the inside of it and when they put it back together there's a USB port at the bottom of it that'll output to uh, HDMI. Hmm. But I don't want to do that. <laughs> like that's scary. But, <laughs> that's scary. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't want to send it off and they just open up my Vita and like do operations to it and stuff. Like I don't know what they're doing. If it's that scary, then while you send it off, just hide under your blanket. <laughs> yeah, I don't, that'll work. <laughs> it always has. But instead, I wonder if the Vita TV will allow you to do that because you're able to stream your games through your Vita onto this Vita TV thing so you can play them on the big screen. So if I can get them on my TV, then why couldn't I? get them on the capture card and be able to do it that way. Yeah. So I'm hoping that's going to work out. But I was pretty pumped because I was like, that'd be super awesome to stream your games on the, you know, on the Vita or something. Or on the 3DS for that matter. Because I play those quite a bit. I actually haven't played my 3DS in a while, but... I don't have either one. Both my kids have DSIs, so... They're good systems. I really like them. They're super good. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, I read about the uh, <coughs> more Tales of Hearts games coming to the Vita, which uh, Colin Moore already wrote a good piece on, on, like, how they're coming over here. And, like, the Vita's been doing a lot better in Japan. Like, it's had a big, big increase in sales here recently, which is awesome, because we were just talking about it last episode, oh, yeah. how we were scared oh, right. that the Vita wouldn't be like selling that well because cigarette? of the no AAA title support so it's starting to pick up so that's good stuff so I'm pretty pumped weren't you that. saying that one of the systems I guess the DSIs or the DS period is like really big in yeah it's like the number one selling system over there or like handheld at least I think the PS2 is the number one selling system over there P PS2 yeah well I mean think of how long it's had to accumulate sales yeah uh, um I thought you meant like right now it's the biggest selling. No, of all time. That right, makes more sense. Released, yeah. I thought you meant like right now that's the biggest selling thing. No, no. I was gonna say there's no fucking possible way. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work. Those two are way behind the times. That's the case. <laughs> and that comes from there. It makes no sense. No. I know. That's why I was like, there's <laughs> like, no what? way. <laughs> oh man. But the sales have been picking up for the Vita, so that actually makes me pretty happy. Uh, PlayStation, all all around, their systems have been picking up here lately, and that's always a good thing. So, more people throw money at it, the better the games are, and, and that's why I was saying that one time I was like, everybody just needs to be patient. It's Sony; they're they're, they're gonna, gonna put out stuff. something just good. Wait. Yeah, but you really can't chalk this up to anything <laughs> Sony's done, other than like have a couple good shows and be like, hey guys, we're we're trying our best to listen to you. Like that's all they really did, and all of a sudden their sales skyrocket. Other companies have done that, and they've never just like blew up after that. And that's literally what the PS4 did. It's way outsold what they thought it would. Oh yeah, I mean hell, that's why they ran out of the freaking cameras. Yeah. Because Sony didn't think that they were going to sell that good, and they literally sold the fuck out. Apparently, there are places that can't that people can't find Vitas, too, now. Oh, really? Like, just here recently. And I wonder if that's like, well, maybe people at the stores are like, you're taking up my shelf space. These Vitas aren't selling, so take some of them back. 
and now that they're starting to sell, that's why there's a shortage of them, because I can't imagine they didn't make enough, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, they've got to have enough Vitas out there. <clears throat> but I don't know. That's weird. I love my Vita, so hopefully it continues to do well and just keeps getting more and more popular. I'd be able to... I'd dig the hell out of that. I think it will now that the PS4 is out. Cause they all... Yeah, because it can do so much with the PS4, yeah. and, like, it'll continue to do a lot more with it, so... I don't see why not. In non-video game news, but uh, we talked about this a little bit last night with the new Harry Potter short story that came yes. out. Yes. Oh crap! I didn't even think about it whenever I, I got didn't home either. last I was, night. I was drinking last night. And I didn't. I think know. <laughs> we started talking about it before we were drinking, drinking. Yeah. And that's why we that's didn't do what we there. both <laughs> said that we were gonna do. But anyways, J.K. Rowling did a short story in the, the Pottermore website, and, like, you can go and read, and it's about uh, Harry Potter, uh, Hermione, Ron, and all them, and, like, and their adulthood. What was it? Like, she said something like 35 years old or something like that? Yeah, that's what you are saying. Yeah, It's around. around that era. So, that's pretty cool. I hope that means more books, because I would so I be down with that. I think she's going to do more books. I think, if anything, she might do a couple short stories here and there. I mean, I'm fine with that, too. I mean, I am too, but it'd be awesome, like, freaking awesome, if they actually went into, like, a a story maybe about their kids. Yeah, I mean, that, that seems like the obvious next step for it. Yeah, but there's not a lot of books that really do that. It's like, they have kids, they live happily ever after, the end. That's true, but I don't know. I mean, as weird as it is to say that Harry Potter because it's all magical and everything, it's kind of still grounded in that reality, you know, because they do deal yeah. with the real world. Yeah. So things are always going to go wrong. Like, exactly. there, there is no happily ever after in the Harry Potter world. I mean, there's plenty of Harry Potter fan fiction that's based on Next Era, which is their children. So, I mean, it only makes sense that J.K. Rowling should just, you know, delve into that and just make a couple more books. Just want to throw out the, the props to Hippie Chili there, rounding up them trolls. That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up, hippie chili. Monkey nuts. Props on that. It's got monkey nuts on his forehead. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope some Harry Potter stuff, like, continues yeah. to roll out. Whether it's short stories, whether they want to make another movie, I don't care. Like, if you, down. like, you like Harry Potter pretty much as much as I do, although I am stuck on... God, I hate myself because I'm too so cool stuck. What? I was talking to Matt, sorry. Oh, I know you were talking <laughs> to Matt. What'd you say? Said, Matt's too cool for us. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look, why well, you know it's a dude in the middle, why chill with these people? <laughs> <laughs> Probably because that's my fucking husband, and just, he's gonna do. I don't know why that seems. I was so gonna funny say to what I say, but up. that just sounds yeah, bad. That's... <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me, but it was. <laughs> Wife wow. and friend of twenty-five plus years. There you go. I mean. It's just such a weird question. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why And why so him? Why not me or why not Dave? Because we're not cool. Like Matt's Dude in cool. the beanie, why Look hang out with him. these two people? Look at him. He's he's obviously way cooler than it's, I don't I mean I'm not making fun of you or anything, Matt. I mean, Matt look at him though. Like he's pimping with this little bling and the little cricket hat. Nail, no. bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's a chain, isn't it? Damn it. I need to get a chain. I busted the bling out. I'm sorry. I gotta get sorry. a chain. Let me talk to Sin. And I need to grow way less facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm just roasting Matt now. That's, that's Maybe that's what we should do. Just it, do a weekly roast. <laughs> it, comes, it comes from a loving place, though. <laughs> she likes your friend. I do like Dave. I like him very much. Right? We're, we're, we're good I pals. love you, Dave. He's gay, didn't y'all know? No. <laughs> didn't you know? I she'll, really do love you, She'll tell Dave. you, like, every other week. <laughs> <laughs> she'll tell you about my non-existing <laughs> sex life as well. It's awesome. Non-existing sex life? That's what I said. Non-existent. Said. Oh. Non well, it's... Speak English. Even in the present, <laughs> it is not existing. Well, like, we know. Continue, we know. Continuing to <laughs> And a more, like, crazy-ass news, Lindsay Lohan is suing Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> 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 For the likeness rights of some like stupid reality hoe that they but make. But it's fun not of. like they can. She can get yeah. them for like slander or anything because it's all true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like TMZ style people. Now we're gonna get. <laughs> yeah. She's gonna sue us next. She's just gonna bust through the wall real quick and start punching us. <laughs> Lindsay, no, Lindsay. All you'd have to do is blow some white dust in her face. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, jeez. That is slander, I think. So maybe maybe we will. Maybe I said fucking Lindsay no. Lohman. There we go. Lindsay Lohman. It was a low hand. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> He got oh, two books geez. and a gangster. <laughs> oh, that's because he's gangster. That's why. Matt, you're he's so... He's a G. Matt, you're so gangster. What up, my peeps? I'm a gangster. That's... I'm a straight up G. <laughs> Tell us one of your old school gangster stories, Matt. My... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, yo, there was this one time, you know what I'm saying? I was up in the hood and... This... <laughs> I was so open you keep going. <laughs> God, and he racked himself on a keyboard. That's his gangsterness. And I tripped on a pebble. And I tripped on a pebble. <laughs> what? Oh, I love you, honey. Jeez. Oh. Monkey nuts, you might be a douche, but at least you make us laugh. Yeah, that's true. I gotta give you props for that, monkey nuts. But because of the comments, it almost oh leads me to believe that it's probably somebody we know. Yeah, it could be. Holy yeah. crap. Who knows? Watch it be like Apex Twin or <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What's the bald guy? What? What's his name? He's in here all the time. Unreal Nutshot. Unreal Nutshot. He's got a different name on here too. Yeah, I know. He's got two. What was the other one? What was his other name? Well, he's made a few because it made fun of me that time I called him Unreal Nutshit on accident. <laughs> and he changed his yeah, name to Unreal Nutshit. Yeah, he was like, next week I'm going to come on here with a different name. And he, he totally too. was. Yeah. And uh, it's like a Trevor or something like that. I don't, I don't actually I'm remember. I'm chilling. I'm high as fuck. That's like the lyrics to something. Right? I thought you were about to start singing like, I'm chilling. I'm high as fuck. I know. That's what it sounded like. I mean, that's how Got it should have been read. Huh? Come on. Give us some more lines. What a beat at. Uh, Yo, turn my headphones up. Turn my. He- <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can't hear my. This snare. is where his G comes in. That <laughs> <laughs> tells that one time he was in the rap studio, <laughs> and that dude came in talking shit. And he was like, "Shug, shut the hell up." <laughs> <laughs> oh I know all the rap references though. <laughs> Yeah, he that knows where Tupac really is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I actually, I, it's weird. A lot of people, like, this don't realize that I like a lot of rap. And uh, they, like, will come over and they'll see that fucking blanket in my room that's all Biggie. <laughs> it's just a big picture of Biggie Smalls. 